Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use InstaSize and iMovie to make really cool videos for your uh, social media. So the first thing you're going to want to do is record yourself doing a workout or whatever kind of video it is that you want to make. Then you're going to click on iMovie and open the video in iMovie by clicking on the plus, selecting movie. I just do simple and then I hit create. So now we're all set to make our video. We are going to click on the top where it says tap and then it has a little film strip and a music note and that's going to open up your albums you want to make sure it's selected on video on the bottom and then you're going to click on recently added and find the movie that you just took so I will use I'll use some footage from when we did 22 minute hardcore just for an example so I'm going to pick my first strip and these are a couple different sections of that so I'm going to show you how to combine them and you're going to click the arrow that is going to add it now I usually don't use this whole thing if it's for Instagram it needs to be 15 seconds long so the first thing that I do I, I always shrink it down a little bit so that you have um, the part that you want and I know a lot of my videos I speed them up so if you want to speed up the pace of the video you're going to click on this little thing it looks like a speedometer and you're going to slide it all the way to the bunny rabbit and that's going to make it um, it's going to shorten the length of it and make it faster so I'm going to play that for you so you can see what it has done to it because we clearly were not moving that fast um, I don't know if you can hear it or not but hold on okay so you're also going to want to see this little music or megaphone. You want to click on that and pull it all the way down so there's no other sounds in your video except for the music that you're going to put in. So I want to add another part of the clip to this. So I'm going back to the, the uh, videos and we'll just we'll do this one. I'm going to add that and it went in front so I can just hold it and switch it over if I want it next. Um, then I'm going to shrink it down a tiny bit so I just get the parts that I want. You just kind of smush it. I'm going to speed that up and I'm going to take the sound out of that. So, so far it's 11.3 seconds, so we'll add another uh, clip to it. So I'll go back. I'll get another one. I'll do this one. And if I want it in the back, I don't know why it keeps showing up in the front. I'm going to slide it over, shrink it down. This one's kind of long. I'm going to speed it up. And then I'm going to make sure that it's 15 seconds. So that's about 15. And I'm going to take the sound out of that too. And then it's already sped up. So this is the little video that we made, we just made. And then what we're going to do after this video is made, we're going to add some music to it because it's kind of boring without music. Now, you can add music to it using other apps, but I just like using iMovie because it's right here and I can just add it right into the, vi the video like itself. So you're going back to where your videos are, and this time you're going to click on audio on the bottom. And then you can pick songs. So if you have songs on your phone you can use, you can use iTunes. I know there's a few websites that you can get music on, but I'm just going to click on my songs that are on my phone and we'll just do, um, I don't know, we'll just pick one. Um, we'll just uh, get a random song. Alright, actually that's not a good one. Um, let's do... Let's do this one. So you're going to click on the song you want and you're going to put push the little down arrow. Now, if you don't want the very beginning of the song, you're, you can smush that as well and then pull it out so that you can get a different part of the song now. I'm not sure if it's going to play though, so we'll see. I don't know if you can hear that. I can't hear the song um, while I'm recording this video, but one thing that you want to do is you want to speed up the pitch of the song so that you don't get in trouble for copyright or anything. So you're going to click on the megaphone, or actually you're going to click on the uh, 
speedometer, and I usually just speed it up one and one fourth. So it's only a little bit faster, and it doesn't really change the song too much, but it changes it just enough that you can't get in trouble for using the song. Then what you want to do when you're all done, um, well, actually, something else I like to do if you go to the audio and you click fade, you can slide this little arrow over a tiny bit, and that'll make the song gradually come on and gradually fade out at the end. And then you can click done when you're all done, and then you'll have your movie. So when you save it to your phone, you want to hit that button in the middle that has the up arrow, and you want to hit save, and then you want to save in the highest quality, so you're going to click HD, and then it's going to save your movie for you to your phone. When it's all done, it'll say it's exported to your photo library. You'll click OK, and then you're going to open up InstaSize, which is the second app that I use. Now, from here, you're going to go to, um, not that, you're going to go to All Photos and then click All Videos, and then you'll see your video will be the first one. You're going to click on it. It's already 15, well it's actually 16, so if you need to shrink it, you can slide it down a little bit. And then you're going to click Next. So what this does is it puts a white bar on the top and the bottom for you automatically. You don't have to add music because we already did that. And then you can just add your words to it. So if I want to hit text, then I usually use the same font on all of mine. It's kind of like a branding thing, but... You can use whichever font you want, and I'll just say 22 minute hard core. Now, this isn't what I put on it when I made it, but this is just for an example. And then you stretch it, and you can stretch it and shrink it with your fingers, however big you want it to be or small. Um, if you want to add more text, though, this is, I think, a little glitch in the app. You need to select another thing on the bottom. So you can click on stickers, and then you can go back to text, and you can add another, like, another um, text. So then I'll click on that one, and then I'll do get some, and stretch that out a little bit. Nope. Get bigger. You can tilt it with your fingers. This is just the style that I do on all my videos. You don't have to do exactly the same thing. And then I, if I want to add like my contact info, I could put my Facebook, I could put my Instagram. So I'll just do my Facebook. Oops, I spelled my name wrong. All right, and then if you want to change the color, you just double click on it and pick the color that you want it to be. And then you're just going to save it, and that's all. So you hit the little arrow in the corner, the blue one. It'll save the video for you. And then you have a cool video that you can put on Instagram because it's 15 seconds. Or you can put it on Facebook because people don't really have an attention span much longer than 15 seconds anyway. 